Hi everyone, so this video I've made for you is 10 facts about me. Things you wouldn't know about me necessarily from watching my um, YouTube videos and I guess letting you see more about my personality and um, more inside my head. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing is I am slightly OCD. I am obsessed with the number 10. So before I go to bed each night, I either have to set the timer for 10 minutes and I spend 10 minutes cleaning up or I have to put 10 things away. And while that's like as an efficiency thing, um, I have to do my exercises in sets of 10. So I can't just do 20 squats at the gym. I have to do two sets of 10 um, squats at the gym and, you know, 10 lunges on each leg. Um, and everything, anytime I'm counting down, it's always got to be in blocks of 10. Like if I'm at the microwave, the microwave can only go in blocks of 10 seconds. It's really weird. I'm worried that Rocco is becoming a little bit OCD as well, but at least there's only one OCD problem and not 10 OCD problems. <laughs> Two, my guilty pleasures are eBay. I could spend hours on eBay. It's like a vortex of time. Like if I was locked in a room with no natural light, but I had like my iPhone or my iPad, I could spend hours in solitary confinement just looking at random weird stuff on eBay. Not necessarily buying anything um, or wanting anything, but just, just looking at weird random stuff on eBay. Like, did you know people sell their, the lint from their belly button on eBay? Like, it's just weird. And there's so many other weird things on eBay. Three, embarrassing pleasures. So I love reading self-help books. And whenever um, people come over to my house, I have to hide them because I think they might think I'm a bit crazy. So this is just on my desk um, of things I need to read. Um, why men love bitches, um, passionate marriage, the five languages of love, five steps to finding love, and hidden under my bed is reinvent your life, which is what I'm currently reading right now. And then on my bedside table, this book, which I've read before, but is actually a really beautiful one, Choosing Happiness, Life and Soul Essentials. I just love reading self-help books. I just, yeah, that's embarrassing. Four, so four personality traits that are my worst traits. Now I'm actually gonna take an interesting spin on this because normally I would be really ashamed and embarrassed of these, but I've decided to own these um, worst traits and embrace them. So the first one is I can be incredibly insecure. Um, it doesn't take much for me to feel insecure and I lean on other people to help, um, I guess, pull me back up or make me feel good again. And they're normally my closest girlfriends and they're amazing. And if something happens to them, I can call them and they, you know, help me sort of process and, and reason with what's happened and, and give me valuable advice. But um, yeah, I am an incredibly insecure person. I'm also um, an incredibly hypersensitive person. And um, whilst that annoys some people that I'm so sensitive, it actually, in my mind, I've decided is actually a really good thing because it makes me a very, very compassionate person, very sympathetic. I'm incredibly kind and caring. When something, when a good friend of mine has something happen to them, I will drop anything that they need to be there for them and to help them because I understand what they're going through. I understand the pain. I understand the challenge they might be in processing what's going on. Um, and it means also I'm a really good listener. The next thing is I'm incredibly stubborn. When I've made my mind up on something, I just, that's it. And um, yes, that is, is a bad thing, but being so stubborn and um, has actually helped me get to where I am, particularly in my career. I have, for when I want something, I go after it and I put so much attention and energy and effort into helping make that happen. And people try and sort of deter me or, you know, distract me and I, I'm just absolutely um, fiercely determined to the point where people think I'm 
annoyingly stubborn, which I admit I am. The fourth um, worst trait of mine is my impatience. I am actually very chilled out 90% um, of the time, but I am incredibly impatient to the point where I, but I don't complain, I just go and do things. And this, I'm the polar opposite of people who are all talk, no action. I'm no talk, all action. And often close people still say to me, whoa, did you want to talk to me about doing that before you did it? Or were you going to tell me? Or and my problem is, is I, once I come up with an idea or become stubborn about something, I just go out and do it and make it happen. And yes, sometimes that has got me into trouble. But then again, um, that's also gotten me to where I am today um, because I've just been so um, impatient. <laughs> Fact number five is about tattoos and piercings. So I don't have any tattoos and it's simply because I wouldn't know where a tattoo would look good on me and what it would be of. Um, I do have my ears pierced and that's a pretty much it. I also um, hate needles. Fact number six is when I was young, I had the biggest crush on Michael J. Fox from Back to the Future. And I think I still have that crush because whenever I see him on TV, like the rush of um, hormones <laughs> comes running back to me. And I think if I saw him in the flesh, I would absolutely have a meltdown because I think he's just gorgeous. Fact number seven is if I won the lottery, nothing would really change in my life. I would still do everything that I do today. And that's because I'm genuinely happy with where I am in my life and um, I'm passionate about what I do in my job and helping people and connect with people and help, um, I guess, eliminate or reduce financial stress in the world. Um, I love living where I live. I have amazing family and friends around me. Um, there's probably the only thing I would probably change is I'd go on more holidays and they would probably be a little more luxurious. So fact number eight is the last time I cried. Now I actually cried last night. I let someone down um, who was really important to me and I felt really, um, I guess, embarrassed, ashamed and disappointed in myself. And um, I realized that there was a part of me um, that needs to maybe grow up a little bit or um, mature a bit and I guess be a little bit more or a lot more mindful of that person and the importance um, that person has in my life. Fact number nine is comfort food. So I have three main comfort foods. One is my mum's home-cooked spaghetti bolognese. Whenever I was overseas, particularly when I was younger and um, I was missing my home, I would miss the taste um, of my mum's spaghetti bolognese. And whenever I eat it, even today, occasionally she'll make it um, for me to have at home if she knows I've got a busy week or I'm tired. And it just, um, something about it just, um, I guess, helps replenish my soul. The second comfort food I have um, is Max Brenner waffles. Now, when I go to Max Brenner, um, they do these amazing waffles with chocolate drizzled on top and sometimes you can get strawberries and bananas and stuff like that. I can be quite a difficult customer, I'm always polite, but I um, like to have my waffle basically drowning in melted chocolate to the point where I say to them, I want to see my waffle doing um, backstroke across the plate in that it's swimming in so much melted chocolate. I'm obsessed and I eat the whole thing and I feel ill afterwards, but it just hits the spot. <laughs> my third comfort food is banoffee pie. I am obsessed with banoffee pie. And um, if I am feeling a little bit down, I go to this place around the corner from where I live and banoffee pie is something like $16.50 per slice. But it is the most incredible banoffee pie. And I've been known to sit on the sofa and eat this huge um, expensive slice all by myself, sitting on the phone, um, chatting to my friends. So my 10th and final um, fact about me are my pet peeves in other people. So there's actually two. One is people who are all talk, no action. Um, yes, of course, it's great to talk about ideas and inspiration, but people who say they're going to do something and never actually do it really frustrates me. And that's probably boils back down to my impatience and stubbornness. And then the other pet peeve that really irritates me people who don't recycle. 
it is so easy to recycle. You just put the recyclable goods, you separate them and put them into the correct bins. It's really not that hard and it makes such a big improvement on our environment. Ugh. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a sneak peek inside my head and my heart. And if you enjoyed it and would like to know more things about me, feel free to put the questions in the comments box below and I will make another video like this just for you. Don't forget you can also subscribe to this channel as well as um, subscribe to the official Sugar Mama website and you can also follow me on Instagram. But that's it for today. Ciao for now and I'll see you next week.